What's up guys? Right now I'm over at Emilio's shop. We were actually just over at the track, but unfortunately it got rained out once again. I think I uh, jinxed us a little bit last time because I said we've been getting really lucky with the weather lately. But the last two weeks in a row, the track has been rained out. But uh, Emilio actually did get one pass in the Honda before I made it over there. And uh, we also have some bad news about it, but we can at least talk about the pass he got real quick. So we got a 1.7. It was a 1.87 the last time. So that was a better 60 foot. And it was still at full pressure on the tires. That was just a test pass. Just to test the two step out because that was the first time. But the two step worked good. And then, uh, so I shifted first, second, third, and when I went to fourth, it like, it, I don't know if it missed fourth or if it caught it, but once I let go back, like once I let go of the clutch, it's like the, the shifter had a bunch of play in it. So I didn't know what happened. So I just brought it back around and uh, it got stuck in fourth. So I think, I don't know what's up with the tranny, but right now it's stuck in fourth and uh, we're just gonna have to, I don't know, figure it out, pull it back, pull it apart. You want to show them the shifter real quick? Yeah. At least from up here. I see the slip one more time. So yeah, that would have been possibly. I'd say a, a low a 11. Very or low 11. Or yeah, an 11 three pass. One eight and four nine. Got a four eight over here. Yeah, so I did the 11 three before with the four nine three thirty one eight sixty, and then that one was a one seven sixty with a four eight three thirty. I don't think it would have been a ten. Just it yet, but it would have been faster like, than 11 three at least. Yeah, it would have been a really deep 11. You never know though. We did feed it more boost up top, so maybe it could have back half a little harder. I don't know. But either way, that shifter messed up. It was on a mission until fourth gear. So it's like, I just drove it from the track to my shop in fourth gear. I mean, the 17 is already an improvement though. Yeah, for sure. If we lower the tire pressure to like 20 and uh, launch it that way, I think it'd be fine. Yeah, especially if we could do like a 1 6. Yeah, I think I, I mean, that was the then first Then it'd be pass, in the 10s easy. Yeah but now you gotta figure out this tranny problem. So yeah, he drove it back over here completely in fourth gear. The shifter is completely floppy and it's just stuck in fourth. So we're thinking a shift fork might have broke inside the tranny or something. So you can see where it's stuck. It just does nothing. Yeah, it does nothing. It just goes back and forth. So you know it's nothing to do with the shifter itself. No. I was hoping, like at the track, I lifted it up. I thought maybe the shifter or something came undone, you know, but that wasn't the case. <laughs> so unfortunately, the tranny has to come out. Yeah. Got to look into that. I'm a little bummed, but after today, I was gonna pull the motor anyways to like clean the engine bay up. So. Yeah, he's getting ready to repaint it. So I'm just gonna have to pull the tranny out, and Fong's gonna look at it. He's rebuilt a couple of these before, so he'll figure it out. Man, if that didn't break though. Yeah, I know. She was on her way. All we had to do is lower the tire pressure, get like a 1.6, and it would have done a high 10 for sure. But we'll fix it and bring it back. She'll be in the 10s in no time. I'm not stressing it. We'll get it. All right, guys. So yesterday, uh, we did not get to race the Hondru because the track got rained out. And as you guys saw, something happened with Emilio's transmission. And um, some things came up in the last couple days. So right now, I'm over at Brent's shop and this came up pretty fast so we didn't have much time to uh, decide if we wanted to try to do this or not but we are going to an event this weekend with the Rowdesy. Um since i was busy yesterday trying to film emilio's car i had planned on staying over at the track all day uh, yesterday but unfortunately he had issues with the car while i was over there doing that jamie actually came uh yesterday morning and picked up the Rowdesy from my house and brought it over here to brent's shop right now we have it up on the lift and as you guys also know, I was just rebuilding the transmission on my hatch, putting a new third gear synchro in there. And I was just about to put the tranny back into the hatch when Brent actually texted me. You wanna, you wanna show him real quick oh, yeah. what we have going on? So we have These some- These guys decided to come to Colorado and start a, a minivan mayhem. That's presented by the Street Outlaws. Yeah, street Outlaws farm truck and Asian. So? At Bandemir, so you know, we have a minivan. We have a minivan. <laughs> so, before I put the, the tranny back in the hatch, we figured. I called him, <laughs> and I was like, dude, what do you think? Are you into it? And he's like, well, yeah. I was like, what can we do? He's like, whatever you want. Yeah, and so, so since, since <laughs> I was busy at the track yesterday, they brought it over here, 
pulled the tranny out and got the hatches straight cut gear set thrown in the minivan. Right now, they're getting it all put back together. He even went through the bearings as well, made sure everything was good yeah, in the motor. The engine, put new intake manifold gasket on it. He even started pulling all the interior apart. We're not messing around. We're gutting the minivan <laughs> and we're gonna bring it to Vandermeer this weekend and see what it can do. It has a transmission that is hopefully not going to blow up, has straight cut gears. We're still using the same axles, but these are a beefier uh, spline on the end of those. The Preludes and Aussie do have the bigger axles, so hopefully those hold up. But uh, they went through the whole thing, and now yeah. she has a new tranny that is out of the hatch, and I also just went to Discount Tire. These are off of Dan's CRX, these slicks right here. These were on these wheels. I had to go and take them to get the tires dismounted off of those, and these went onto the rims that I borrowed from Jamie last time when we took it out to the half mile event in Florida. So those are gonna be going back on. Thank you, Jamie, for the wheels. Thank you, Dan, for the slicks. The Radice is getting some slicks. We're gonna bring her to the track, and it's gonna be we're fun. Gonna see what she'll do, finally. This is, this is definitely gonna be a surprise for you guys. Yeah. Kind of out of nowhere, too. but yeah. it, awesome. it needed to happen. Yep. So here's the training out of the van. That was actually Brent's that I was borrowing, so now he can have that back, and I'll figure <laughs> something else out for my hatch. But the van has a strong transmission now, and like I said, he went through the whole thing, started tearing out the interior. There are almost no seats bolted down. Right now the passenger one is the only bolted seat. And we pulled all the, all the AC out of the roof because this had a full air conditioner in the ceiling. So this is all just empty. So I pulled it all apart, but I've been putting it back together. So it'll look like a van still. But we're just, shaving some weight. But we're shaving weight. It's the stuff underneath that counts, so. Uh, yeah, and right now we have the driver's seat out because we need to figure out uh, something for the e-brake. As you guys know, I made this uh, shifter box a while back when we first did the swap, but the e-brake comes really close to uh, the box right here. You can't fit your hand in between it. And I was actually here last night. I was gonna film some stuff, but uh, it was really late, so we only did a couple things. Last night, I actually uh, started to take this e-brake apart, and what we're going to do is we are going to modify the e-brake so we can uh, preload it at the tree. We have to cut this guy off right here. We actually went and bought some tubing, yeah. and we are going to modify it. I'm gonna make a piece that comes up and over so my hand can be up here to pull the e-brake so we can preload, and then once we get that done, we can put the driver's seat back in. Start getting her back together, but it's coming. The Routus is rowdy. The Routus might just run a 10 this weekend. Man, I, I don't want to say it, but that's I got big goals. It has the same tranny out of my hatch, the same motor pretty much set up as my hatch, same size tire, so it's gonna feel just like driving my hatch, right. but Water with a van, a little heavier, a little like heavier, heavier no, and the body of makes, a van. But it makes more power. Yeah, the, the Routus does make than more. The van, or than the, the hatch, so. Who knows? Yeah, it's possible. I mean, if we can trap one mid 130s in a minivan, <laughs> that's epic. I think we can do it. Yeah, I think we can too. Honestly, I think if we just tweak on and tweak, who knows how far we can go. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be so <laughs> sick. Yeah. So yeah, right now, the only thing we're waiting on to start it is just putting uh, tranny fluid in, and then I think she's ready to fire up. And then from there on, like I said, got to do the e-brake, get her rolling. And the event's tomorrow, so like this yeah. is very last minute. Very last minute. Just whipped her out, so. Sure enough, it's last minute. Yeah, couldn't have done it without Brent and Shane and Jamie. They knocked her out real quick. That's a team effort. She, she hasn't done anything crazy since the half mile event in no. Florida. No, she's, she's really just been sitting. We had SP Tuning come down, they put the transmission in it. They got to drive her around a little bit, but yeah. other than that, she has, has just she's been never sitting. never got to stretch her legs in a Yeah. Car. With a full launch and everything. We've got spare axles, we've got everything straight, we're combed through everything, so I'm feeling like, I'm pretty confident right now that we can really run fast. I'm hoping it's 2,900-ish, I'm not sure. Oh, on, on the weight? Yeah, if we're in that range, there's gonna be some really good things, because you could, if every 100 pounds is a 10th, the hatch goes 1030s religiously. Yeah, the hatch goes 1030, yeah. and it weighs 25, so if this is... 25. This is 29, even 3,000, 3, that's a high 10. That's a high 10. According to the- The math. The ricer math. Yeah, the, the <laughs> math. So, it's not even really ricer math at yeah, that point. We can do it. Hell yeah. I'm pumped. Hell yeah. Shane just hit his head. And if we can go a little faster, <laughs> we can go a little faster Cooper's V in a minivan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so mean to Cooper. Oh, I love Cooper. We love Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Go. Go. She's alive. So quiet. That sounds 
Open up the dump. It's right here. Yes. Got her back on the ground. She is running, but before we can uh, try to drive it around at all, we need to put some water in the radiator so it doesn't get too hot. But she is alive. She hasn't had a drink in months. She hasn't had a drink in a while. She's thirsty. We're also gonna be taking the SP tuning banner off. So Pablo, Yost, and Shane, we're sorry, but uh, we gotta put it back into sleeper mode. Thank you guys so much for when you came over and did the tranny. And uh, yeah, that's coming off. We're also gonna be taking off the BC Racing logo and the Booster Boy sticker right here. We don't want anything on the sides. We are gonna keep all the Soccer Mom stickers on the back. But uh, yeah, we want her to be sleeper again for this event. Sealed up, she don't want to idle now. She doesn't want to idle anymore. Just think how <laughs> that, that was boost leaks. Yeah. Oh. All boost leaks, not anymore. Man, I've missed this thing. I've missed her so much. Damn. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stare and walk away, and I don't want to walk away. Tomorrow should be fun. This is gonna be epic. Let's put the cherry on top real quick. Oh, yeah, let's put the cherry on top. You guys already know. Gotta put a little neon in it. See, this is why I can't ever put my car together. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta pop this. We gotta close. Yeah, it. we gotta shut the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Got this. All right, Shane, come here. Shane knows the bumper trick. <laughs> it takes two. It takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> <laughs> the Rowdy is back. It is She's back. back. It is back. <laughs> oh. There it is. It is back. Hell yeah. She's been, since Daytona and Sebring, she's just been sitting. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it looks so good, too. It looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> Those slicks look really good, too. Uh, yeah, they're like it's, not like, it's not like a giant radial anymore. I think it'll be way easier for you to drive, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a big hatch. Yeah, it's literally just my Civic, but with a minivan around it. She's right at home now. She's right at home. Right by the elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even tell. So we just drove the route to see around the block. Uh, she definitely needs some tuning on the idle because it wants to die a little bit now that there's no vacuum leaks. It's actually gonna be running, it's gonna be running so much better. But uh, right now, Brent's working on a coolant overflow line to a stock tank that we found. A lot better than the water bottle that used to be on there. And while they're working on that, I was going to go ahead and get the e-brake pulled off. Get the stock one out of the way. This is just all metal. There's just two bolts that hold it on. And what I'm going to do is, this is where it hits, right here on this side. I'm going to cut it short right here. And then right before Sean left, he bent up this little kind of S piece and I'm gonna weld this onto the top of the e-brake handle right there so that it brings it up and over kind of by the shifter so I can actually put my hand on it and use the e-brake when we bring it to the track so we'll be able to preload it because the e-brake is pretty important. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I just got the new e-brake handle welded on. Felt good to run some welds. Haven't welded in a minute but i just ran some stitch welds on each side of it right there and right there that is not going to be going anywhere i also added a tack onto this guy right here this piece is uh what kept the e-brake uh in the up position when you pull the e-brake you hear it all the teeth click and then you push the button to release it when this uh, was right here this button had a little rod in it that connected to that guy and then this would pivot and the end of this right here would catch on the teeth 
and without this after I cut this off this piece right here is kind of floppy and I didn't want it to accidentally swing down and catch on a tooth when I'm trying to drop the e-brake so what I did is I just put a tack on it to hold it in place so it can't uh, ever touch those so now the e-brake is just free to go up and down and right when you let go of it it's just gonna drop there's no lock on it anymore but uh yeah it came out pretty good I could have cut it off a little more right there but I figured I would keep this space right here in case I needed to add a gusset right there, but I don't think that will be necessary. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in. Now we should be able to use the e-brake. Oh man, that looks awesome. Whoa. It's gonna work. That looks great, right? Can actually yeah. use it now. <laughs> yeah, first is right there. E-brake, drop, second, third, fourth. Put a, you could weld a little hook on there too and put like a little bungee cord so it pulled it down all fast. Oh yeah, I could put one like down under yeah. here. So I just let go of it. Yeah, and just tugs it down. What'd Jamie do? Jamie's engineering some things Jamie's over here. Dude, they're gonna stay too. <laughs> just don't stand by it in the burnout. Right. <laughs> I do agree a little bit with that. Got the stock hubcaps to fit over the new wheels. You wanna show them your little rig? Pretty much this two nuts, and then we have long nuts on three of them. Long lug nuts on three of them, so this will thread into them. And it actually tightens down. We measured it, the Sharpie's for, it was like redneck measurements. Dude, that's sick. It holds it on there tight though. Oh yeah, it ain't coming That's on. not coming on. I'm just putting three on each wheel. That's all so, we need. Yeah. Keeps it sleeper. Yeah. All right guys, we are calling it for tonight. Got a whole bunch done on their Odyssey. Can't thank Brent and Jamie and Shane and everyone enough. But uh, I was glad I could at least help out a little bit today. Because you guys were knocking it out yesterday for sure. Both days, it's been a blast. Yeah, she's come a ways in the last couple days. Gosh, totally different van. Totally different van. Yeah, now she has the straight cut gears from the hatch. She has a new intake manifold gasket. I forgot to mention that. Went through the bearings, got the e-brake figured out. I do want to show that real quick before we go. Got all that put together. Something I did realize is that now that it doesn't uh, lock into place, it might be sketchy if I park on a hill. But I'll just have to leave it in gear. All the exhaust manifold studs are fixed too. Yeah. Yeah, all has all the bolts in the exhaust manifold. All the bolts Turbo. in it, period. It has all the nuts on the flange. It's missing two bolts in the whole van. And guess where those two bolts are? I have no idea. <laughs> the shifter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I should have guessed. <laughs> and they're not going back in. <laughs> oh yeah, we also got the battery tied down as well. Oh yeah, that was you. You custom made this. Yeah, I, I custom made this little tie down. It's yeah, pretty sweet. It actually turned out really good. It's mounted in there sideways. It's That's tight. not going nowhere. Everything's zip tied. Everything everything's that needs to be over. zip tied. Yeah, everything's gone over. She weighs yeah. a lot less now. Oh, we got the clips on the shifters, so we don't need to use cocaine. Because we yeah. stole yeah. our <laughs> washer <laughs> tuning was here for your car. Yeah. That's where they went. Yep. Yep, but I got those all on there. And yeah, we need to weigh all the stuff you yeah. guys took out. See how much. Oh. Yeah, yeah, weight we was pulled. Up that box earlier and I thought you were gonna Dude, there's that. at least 200 pounds out of this thing now. Between the seats and the AC stuff. More, oh, more yeah. More. The radio's working again. We pulled the airbag and took every guts out and put this cover back on so they look like they're in there. She's ready to go. It's awesome. I miss this thing. I'm excited. I missed it too. Like, it's been just awesome to work on. Yeah, and it turns out the actual minivan mayhem that they're doing is on Saturday. So it's not tomorrow, but the first day of their event is tomorrow. So we're probably going to go to that, but we don't have to have the van 100% ready until Saturday. So we do actually have an extra day, which is nice. Yeah. But we're still... Extra axles and yeah. Get some extra, extra parts. spare parts. But we do want to go down there tomorrow just to make sure we're ready to go, get all registered. And yep. Did you just put that there? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I thought it'd be subtle. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Yeah, got rid of that nasty thing. Yeah. I don't know where that went. Oh, it's right there. It's back there. Yeah, this thing was disgusting. She's ready to go. Yeah, the zip tie. Oh yeah, to hold the 
to hold the harness away from the turbos. So we don't need any more wires getting wires in, sucked like, in. Yeah. Omaha. On the hatch. Yeah. I've done once before. Now. Oh yeah, I'm Brent's custom uh, hard line right here to the overflow. <laughs> that's actually reused parts too. It's a, that's an AC line. Yeah. That he tucked out of the way. It looks real nice. Yeah, we were. To the overflow. It was late and we don't have enough hose laying around. No one want to go to the parts store. <laughs> we couldn't go to the parts store. It was closed. Yeah, so, no. We got enough hose around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we get out of here real quick, I want to show how good the e-brake works. Oh, that's pretty awesome. We actually did already test it and it locks up the back tires real good. Really? And it's really comfortable to use. Yeah. So that's going to be sweet. It launches, sweet. It launches like the hatch. And we're Even close. Those, yeah, and we're just a few tenths back. Oof, this car's gonna be fast. <laughs> it's gonna be a fast this minivan. Band. 10 band. second odyssey. Please, 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 please. I mean, everybody at home, let's put them together. Chanting, please, please, please. <laughs> Everyone just give it a. <laughs> I mean, it'd be the record holder odyssey. Yeah. No odyssey has gone tens no. in the quarter. No, not even the other guy that can't even do burnouts on him. <laughs> He's rad. It almost came up on two step right there. Oh, it was already starting to spin the wheels. It was starting to spin the tires? Yeah, it starting to spin the tires. Oh, shit. Yeah. You know what? That e brake works good. It, it's awesome. That's sick. It was ready to, look. It was ready to go. Oh, yeah. And was saying it's time. Gonna drive her home, feel her out. Totally I'm leaving track. my other van here. Brent's gonna be taking yeah. that. And you're gonna drive it to the track. Yeah. It's the route to see. She's a daily. She's a daily. Can't wait. She ain't no trailer queen. Nope. <laughs> they said daily driver. I mean, none of the cars are trailer queens, none, honestly. They all drive. Trailer barely ever gets used anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. pull the trailer with it. Yeah. There you go. We'll pull the hatch <laughs> with the van, and then we'll race both. And then if so one breaks, you yeah. just tow the other back. Yeah, borrow the train from one. <laughs> Get her ready for minivan mayhem. Minivan mayhem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I just got home in the route seat. Right now, it's parked out in my driveway, but it drove really good. It's definitely turned down. Uh, it's only making like about 15 PSI, which is probably good for anywhere from like 450, maybe 500 ish. That's about where I think it's at. So I think it's still on the tune from when the guys from SP Tuning came down because we did turn it down a little bit for the track because we didn't want to break anything out there. So we are going to need to load up the uh, other tune, the original tune that made the 737 back into the computer, but I am so excited for this weekend, guys. It, like I said, it drove really good, and the transmission felt amazing on the way over here. It shifted into every gear really good, which I am really proud of since I just put that thing together the other night. Third gear does not grind at all anymore. I was just going through the gears on the way over. Feels really nice, so unfortunately, the hatch is just going to have to sit for a little bit while we brought the transmission out of it, but I think it's for a really good cause. I know you guys are going to love the content to come from the Routacy for sure. Um, I also have some parts on the way for Wago, so we'll go over that when the time comes. And uh, as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, unfortunately, the Honda Roo broke something in the transmission. My guess is it's like a shift fork or you know something related to that. Amelia was going to be pulling the motor out of it either way after the track. We just didn't expect it to break, so now he has to pull the motor and tranny out. Just gonna pull all that stuff out, work on that while he uh, cleans up the engine bay, and I believe he wants to repaint the whole car. I guess we'll show some more of that later on, but we will get the Honda fixed, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's about it for tonight, guys. Super stoked that the Routacy is back up and running. Hope you guys are as well. This weekend should be really fun, so be sure to stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching.